Good evening and welcome to evening prayer on this Thursday, the 16th of December. Uh, just a quick reminder that tomorrow we will not be having any morning evening prayer as I'm on a rest day, but we can join our siblings uh, via the Church of England website for their morning evening prayer, which will be there available tomorrow. Um, on Sunday, we will have at 8 a.m. a BCP Holy Communion. At 11 o'clock, we will be gathering um, at St. Mary's for the main Eucharist, which will also be streamed online. Uh, on uh, the St. Thomas's, there will be no 9.30 service, uh, but we'll be gathering at half past three uh, for a Chris Stingle service in the afternoon. So, God willing, the weather will be decent, uh, but if, and we'll be outside. If it's not willing, we'll be out, uh, decent, we'll be inside. Uh, but either way, we'll have a joyful service. That'll be a lovely, lovely thing. Um, but as we come together, let us give thanks for the day that has been. Let us pray to God and let us pray for one another as well. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness, to be praise and, and glory forever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold your coming amongst us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness, and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. Creator of the stars of night, thy people's everlasting light, O Jesus, Saviour of us all, regard thy servants when they call, thou grieving at the bitter cry, of all creation doomed to die, did come for save a ruined race, with healing gifts of heavenly grace. Thou camest, bridegroom of the bride, as drew the world to evening tide, proceeding from a virgin shrine, the Son of Man, yet Lord divine. At thy great name exalted now, all knees must bend, all hearts must bow, and things in heaven and earth shall own, that thou art Lord and King alone. To thee, O Holy One, we pray, our judge in that tremendous day. Preserve us while we dwell below, from every onslaught of the foe. O oh, praise, eternal Son, to Thee, whose advent set Thy people free, whom with the Father we adore, and Spirit bless forevermore. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, let us pray of one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for this evening is Psalm 44. Rise up, O Lord, to help us. We have heard with our ears, O God, our forebears have told us all that you did in their days in time of old, how with your hand you drove out nations and planted us in and broke the power of peoples and set us free. For not by their own sword did our ancestors take the land, nor did their own arm save them. But your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance, because you were gracious to them. You are my King and my God, who commanded salvation for Jacob. Through you we drove back our adversaries. Through your name we trod down our foes. For I did not trust in my bow, it was not my own sword that saved me. It was you that saved me from my enemies and put our adversaries to shame. We gloried in God all the day long and were ever praising your name. But now you have rejected us and brought us to shame and go not out with our armies. You have made us turn our backs on our enemies and our enemies have destroyed us. You have made us like sheep to be slaughtered and have scattered us among the nations. You have sold your people for a pittance, and made no profit on their sale. You have made us the taunt of our neighbours, the scorn and derision of those that are round about us. You have made us a byword among the nations, among the peoples they wag their heads. 
My confusion is daily before me, and shame has covered my face. At the taunts of the slanderer and the reviler, at the sight of the enemy and avenger, all this has come upon us though we have not forgotten you, have not played false to your covenant. Our hearts have not turned back, nor our steps gone out of your way. Yet you have crushed us in the haunts of the jackal, and covered us with the shadow of death. If we had forgotten the name of our God, or stretched out our hands to any strange God, would not God search it out, for he knows the secrets of the heart. But for your sake are we killed all the day long, and are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Rise up, why sleep, O Lord? Awake, and do not reject us for ever. Why do you hide your face, and forget our grief and oppression? Our soul is bowed down to the dust, our belly cleaves to the earth. Rise up, O Lord, to help us, and redeem us for the sake of your steadfast love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Rise up, O Lord, to help us. Our Old Testament reading is a continuation of the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 51, verses 9 to 16. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake, as in days of old, the generations of long ago. Was it not you who cut Rahab in pieces, who pierced the dragon? Was it not you who dried up the sea, the waters of the great deep, who made the depths of the sea a well, uh, set away for the redeemed to cross over? So the ransom of the Lord shall return, and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall attain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. I, I am he who comforts you. Why then are you afraid of a mere mortal who must die, a human being who fades like grass? You have forgotten the Lord your Maker, who stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth. You fear continually all day long because of the fury of the oppressor who is bent on destruction. But where is the fury of the oppressor? The oppressed shall speedily be released. They shall not die and go down to the pit, nor shall they lack bread. For I am the Lord your God, who stirs up the sea so that, it, so that its waves roar. The Lord of hosts is his name. I put my words in your mouth, and hid you in the shadow of my hand, stretching out the heavens, and laying the foundations of the earth, and, and say to, saying to Zion, You are my people. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Behold, I am coming soon, says the Lord, and, and bring my reward with me. To give to everyone according to their deeds, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who do God's commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter into the city through the gates. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to you with this testimony for all the churches. I am the root and offspring of David. I am the bright morning star. Come, says the Spirit and the bride. Come, let each hear a reply. Come forward, you who are thirsty, that those who desire take the water of life as a gift. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Our New Testament reading is a continuation of Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 2, from the beginning to the end of the chapter. As to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered together to him, we beg you, brothers and sisters, do not be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed either by spirit or by word or by letter as though from us, to the effect that the day of the Lord is already here. Let no one deceive you in any way, for that day will not come unless the rebellion comes first and the lawless one is revealed, the one destined for destruction. He opposes and exalts himself above every so-called God or object of worship, so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, declaring himself to be God. Do you not remember that I told you these things when I was still with you? And you know what it is to be uh, is what is now restraining him, so that he may be revealed when his time comes. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work, but only until the one who now restrains is removed, and then the lawless one will be revealed. 
whom the Lord Jesus will destroy with the breath of his mouth, annihilating him by the manifestation of his coming. The coming of the Lord's one is apparent in the work of Satan, who uses all power, signs, lying wonders, and even and every kind of wicked deception. For those who are perishing because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason God sent them a powerful delusion, leading them to believe what is false, so that all who, who have not believed the truth but took pleasure in unrighteousness will be condemned. But we must always give thanks to God for you, brothers and sisters, beloved by the Lord, because God shows you as the first fruits of salvation, through the sanctification by the Spirit and through belief in truth. For this purpose he called you through our proclamation of the good news, so you may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that were taught by us, either by word of mouth or by our letter. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our God our Father, who loved us and through the grace gave us eternal comfort and good hope, comfort you, your hearts, and strengthen them in every good work and word. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. There is forgiveness with you, so you shall be feared. In your word is my hope. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. Lord Jesus, you are the one who is to come the one whom we await with longing hearts. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, you are the one who is to come, the one whom we await with longing hearts. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray and give thanks for the day that has been. As we come towards the end of the day, may we be grateful for all that we have. May we rejoice in the goodness and the prosperity which you have given us. We thank you, Lord, that we can live in comfort and in peace. We pray, Lord, for all who are living in times of strife, for all who are uneasy this night for all who are hungry or cold, for those without shelter, for those in the grips of addiction. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all being affected by the coronavirus. We pray for those who are sick at this time. We pray for those who are suffering with long COVID. We pray for those who are in isolation. We pray for all who have been hospitalised and those who have died. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for the church throughout the world as it prepares to celebrate Christmas. We pray, Lord, that we may work together and recognise our commonality. We pray, Lord, that we may do your will that we may show your love and kindness without prejudice or without contradiction. Help us not to be judgmental, Lord. Help us to show love to all who, are, who we meet and all who are in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are struggling this Christmas tide for those who are estranged from their families, for those who are alone, for those who feel unloved. Lord, 
Be with those who are suffering this Christmas tide. Be with those who are in need of your comfort. Help us to be agents and, and, and to show your kindness and your love to all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for all places of war, conflict and violence. We pray, Lord, that you would watch over all who are suffering. Be with them, Lord. Be with all who are displaced because of war or violence. For those who are in refugee camps. For those who are seeking asylum. For those who are in refuges. And for those who are in hiding. Help us, Lord, to show kindness and compassion to all who are in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray for those who are known to us. We pray especially by name for Davy, Jilly, Megan, Mary, Tina, Robert, David, Peter, Rose, Sarah, Gwenna and Gillian. We pray too for those who are known to you alone, Lord. We pray for all who are reaching the end of their lives and all who have lost their lives. We pray especially by name for Peter, Matthew, Vivian, David and Daniel. We pray for all who are grieving their loss. We pray for all who are in grief and all who are mourning and all who carry the scars of loss. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In a moment of stillness, let us offer to God the thoughts and prayers of our innermost heart. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord Jesus Christ, who at your first coming sent your messenger to prepare your way before you, Grant that the ministers and stewards of your mysteries may likewise so prepare and make ready your way by turning the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, that at your second coming to judge the world we may be found an acceptable people in your sight. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So please do join me on Sunday at 8 a.m. for a BCP Holy Communion um, or at nine, sorry, at 11 o'clock for the main Eucharist at St. Mary's, which will also be streamed online. Um, there is no 9.30 service at St. Thomas's, but we'll be gathering at half past three uh, for the Chris Dingle service. Um, but uh, tomorrow, please do join our siblings via, um, uh, via the Church of England website for morning evening prayer. But until we see each other again, God bless, stay safe and have a very good evening.